Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for your glider supplies. In this video, I want to take a look at how we can set weather layers on our LX9000 device. This is new with release 8 of the firmware for the LX family of computers. You may have noticed that when you go to your setup menu and into your graphics menu, that we now have a weather option. If we click on the weather option, we can see that we can enable satellite, a forecast, or a radar. We'll start with forecast, and first we'll click enabled here, and then once that's enabled, we can see we have options here of sky site or top meteo. Those are the two options that we have. And then once we've enabled the service, then we can select which sky site layer we wish to see. These are all the same layers that you get on your PC browser version of SkySight. For now, I'm going to select thermal strength and buoyancy shear ratio. We'll say OK. And if we scroll to the bottom of the screen, we can now see that we have some options over how this is going to play on the screen. With the weather layers, particularly the uh, sky site layers, I don't think it's worth animating. So what I want to do is I want to set the forecast time here to zero. And so it will always show me the current forecast when I'm flying. The history span is going to give us the time period over which the animation plays. If we set the forecast time to zero and we don't want it to animate and we just want it to stay as the current time, we can set the history span to zero. And what that's going to do is it's always going to have the most current sky site forecast on the screen. So if I say OK here and I close out of this menu and I go back to my map, we can now see that I have on my task screen here my sky site colors. If I go to the waypoint screen, same overlay. And if I go to the airport screen, I have the same overlay. And if I go through the pages within each screen, that overlay is on all of the pages. And so that's one of the downsides to setting up your weather layers on the device itself is that once we're in here and we've enabled this, it's going to be on every page. So I'm going to take that off. And we'll look at the rain radar now. If we put the rain radar on, this is one that we'd probably want to animate. So the history span, for sure I'm going to want to see probably the last hour worth of rain. The forecast time, I want to see about an hour's worth, so I'm going to set this up to one hour. Freeze present frame, what that does is it will leave the current times animation on the screen for a longer duration. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up to something like 10 seconds, and that means that the current radar as it goes through the loop, it's going to stop on the current one for 10 seconds so you know which is the most recent. So again, I'll say OK here, and I'll close. And we'll go back to one of our map screens. So now we can see that the sky site layer is gone. And on the screen, right now we're on our 10 second pause where it's showing no weather. And there we can see some rain popping up down here and up at the north. We'll just let that sit through one more cycle and we should see some rain starting to pop up here. Again, if we go to any of the other pages, we can see the rain radar is on those pages as well. So setting it up on the device using the graphics menu, it's going to place that weather layer on every single page that you see. You probably don't want that. So in part two of this video series, what I'm going to look at is LX Styler and how we can set up various pages to have different weather overlays on each page. Hope you've learned something new about your LX flight computer today. 
Visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com and subscribe to this Fox One Corp YouTube channel for more videos.